what is up guys today I'm doing a tutorial on essentials and if no one knows about essentials this plugin is it basically gives you commands like you can change the time of day or you can ban kick and this is pretty important if you're running your own server and you have quite a lot of people on it alright so the first thing you want to do is download the plugin itself and here are the different things you can have the core is basically just the main thing the extras yeah you get the point and what I'm gonna get is core alright go ahead and open it and drag and drop all of these into your plugins directory of your server Okay, now we got essentials. And essentials is for the main commands I was talking about. Essentials chat gives you you can have colors in your chat when you talk. Essentials protect basically that's to protect uh, from certain stuff. You can block certain blocks and stuff like that. Prevent lava fire TNT alright and essential spawn if you set your spawn which this allows it can protect a whole area of where your spawn is like a whole radius okay and after you've got that in run your server up again and this will generate all the config files for you see if you see essentials then that means it's working and generating all the files you need okay we'll go ahead and stop it so we can edit it what we want and go into plugins go into essentials and go into config okay and the first thing it, you can go ahead and read this of course as you know for dot yml files or config files you can't use tabs because it'll mess up what's in the config file you can change the color of an ops name if you want to and I'll have a list of color codes you can use in the description and you can change the uh, nickname of your player and if you have a nickname for your player this little character will show up next to your nickname it's basically to tell you that this person has a nickname and you, get, you can set if uh, you want to allow people to change your your name basically teleport cooldown in this plugin you're allowed to teleport like it says here you can do slash home after you set a home slash TP and that will allow so like if you TP if you teleport to one place you have to wait a couple seconds before you teleport to another place and delay all of this stuff And yeah, you can you can change how many people or how many mobs spawn if you do sla slash spawn mob. You can keep going. And these are all permissions you can add, copy, paste into your permissions folder and the kits. This can be used for like if you want to have a starter kit as soon as a player joins you want to allow them to have a stone pickaxe, stone axe, stone sword stone shovel stuff like that you can change the items that it gives you see I don't know what this is but it might be a stone sword you can change one equals the amount so let's say this is stone sword I'm not sure if it is or not but we'll just say it is and you can set 
you have a stone sword, they get one amount, and all the rest. And this is where you name it. And they this allows the people so they don't like keep trying to get more of the kit. And it gives them a certain time amount before they get the kit again. And these are all stuff. If you want to have a backup, go ahead. And you can set the auto a AFK a certain amount of time before they're away from the keyboard and it announces it. You can kick a player after a certain amount of time if they're AFK. Uh, you can set it to where if they're AFK they can't move, they can't pick up items, and it freezes them. You can set all that stuff. Repair Enchanted. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, yeah, that's pretty easy to get to. And if you have, this is for like an economy plugin, where you can have money on your server for people to use kits and stuff. And as soon as they join the server, you can set the amount that they have. So I'll set thirty dollars that they can have. And the max amount of money you can set that. The minimum amount of money. chat and you can set it to where if there if there's a certain radius if they go past the amount of nine blocks then their words won't appear in the uh, other players pretty much chat feed so let's say I set the radius to nine and I'm 20 blocks away from someone I start talking to them, then they can't hear me because I'm out of the radius. And if, if you have a My SQL database or SQL Lite or SQ Lite, sorry, then you can uh, have the database running so where you can protect items. You can set uh, which blocks are blocked, pretty much. So. If you want to prevent people from placing stone, you do comma one because one is stone. Prevent the blocks p people can use. So I don't know the item ID for TNT. Let's just say it was 100. If you want people to, uh, if you want to prevent people from using TNT, you set it to 100. And you can set all this to true or false. If you want lava flow prevented, then you do or you type true, which I would if you're not the kind of griefing server. You can prevent which mobs spawn. And the only thing that I'd really prevent spawning is an ender dragon, because sometimes it can lag your server. That's just my server. I won't spawn an ender dragon. Yeah. You can protect signs, creeper explosion, all the rest. Weather, if you want to have storms, if you want to disable storms, you'd set true. I could care less. And, oh, here. Uh, if, you set, if you make a kit and you want people to have it as they join, this is where you set it at. And that's basically it for the config. I'll show you what you can do in the real game. So restart your server. Okay. Go ahead and log into your server. All right, and for the essentials chat, like I was talking about, you can, with all the color codes and stuff, you can type in in the chat colored words. And for example, I'm doing an A, which is a light green color. 
and see it types in in light green. And Essentials Chat always, I mean, also gives ops the red color, and you saw that before. You can change that in con the config file. You can do commands like slash game mode. You can change your game mode to creative, whatever you are. If you're an op, or if you want to play, have a player to have that ability. You can do slash time night slash time day. And these are just some examples of commands. I'll have a list of all the commands you can do with essentials. And let's say this is where I want everyone to spawn as soon as they join the server. So I do slash set spawn. And there's a certain amount of protection around this area. So if I set the radius to 10, only 10 blocks away would be protecting this spawn. So inside of that radius, I couldn't destroy a block. And to set warps, a warp is basically if you create it and you allow a player to go to it, it'll allow them to teleport to that place. And a warp is that place. So you can do slash set warp. I'll name it jungle. And to go to that warp, you just do slash jungle. And here I am. See, I'll fly away slash warp jungle. And if you do slash warp, it gives you the list. Of course, I only have one. You can do slash set home to set your home if you're a regular player. And if you die, if you set your home, you can just do slash home. And you'll go back to your house. If anyone has any plugin tutorial requests that they want to do, just comment or message me. Doesn't matter. I hope this tutorial helps. Thanks.